Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In Islamic historical account, the validity is still ambiguous, there was a giant named Aj bin Nunuk. It is said that Aj bin Nunuk was born 100 years before the death of Adam. His mother was Anak, a daughter of Adam. When Adam passed away at the age of 930, he left behind 40,000 grandchildren scattered across the earth. He had around 21 sons and 20 daughters, including Anak, Aj's mother. Aj was a giant, requiring a space of 1,000 by 1,000 meters when sitting. Each of his hands had 10 fingers, and each finger had two nails. Aj's age was 3,800 years, and his height was 10,499 meters. The size of each finger was 135 meters. When standing, clouds surrounded his hips, and all animals were afraid of him. They would run away in fear upon seeing Aj. Whenever Aj felt hungry, he would put his hand into the sea and grab the biggest fish he could find, then he would lift it high up to the sun to let it burn before eating it. When Noah was commanded to build an ark, Aj helped him with the heavy woods from the forest. As a reward, Noah would give him bread. Aj hated the city dwellers who opposed Noah, and when he visited the city, everyone was scared and trembling upon his arrival. When Noah completed the ark and the flood began, Aj asked to be given a place on the ark. However, Noah refused his request. During the flood that covered the entire world, the water did not even reach Aj's knees, and he lived until the time of Moses. This historical account sounds similar to the stories in the Bible about the giants mentioned in the Old Testament. In Genesis 6-4, it says, there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. This verse suggests that there were giants on earth, and they were the offspring of the union between the sons of God and the daughters of men. In Numbers 13:33, the Bible also mentions the existence of giants in the land of Canaan. When Moses sent spies to explore the land, they reported, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. This verse implies that giants were present in the land of Canaan, and that they were powerful and intimidating. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. I have just read articles that were published a century ago, and it's truly amazing. I will read a few for you now, and if you like, I can share more of these articles with you later on. This one is from the Charleston Daily Mail, dated September 20, 1916. The title is, Report of 68 Skeletons Averaging 14 Feet Tall. On July 13, Professor Skinner of the American Indian Museum, excavating the mound at Tioga Point, near Sare, Pennsylvania, uncovered the bones of 68 men, which he estimates had been buried at least seven or eight hundred years. The average height indicated by the skeletons was 14 feet, but many were taller. Evidence of the gigantic size of these men was seen in huge axes found beside the bones. This is from the Ohio Science Annual, 1898. The title is, Giant 12 feet 7 inches tall unearthed. 
A rare archaeological discovery has been made near Reinersville in Morgan County, Ohio. A small knoll, which had always been supposed to be the result of an uprooted tree, was opened recently and discovered to be the work of mound builders. Just below the surrounding surface, a layer of boulders and pebbles was found. Directly underneath this was found the skeleton of a giant 12 feet 7 inches in height. Surrounding the skeleton were bone and stone implements, stone hatchets, and other characteristics of the mound builders. The discovery is considered by the scientists as one of the most important ever made in Ohio. The skeleton is now in the possession of a Reinersville collector. This one is from the Charleroi Mail, dated May 7, 1953. The title is, Ancient Burial Ground at Black Creek. Along the Susquehanna River in Indiana County, Pennsylvania, a major Indian burial site was uncovered. Altogether, 49 skeletons were exhumed, the tallest being 16 feet tall. These skeletons were reportedly taken to the Harrisburg Museum for reassembly and then shipped to the Smithsonian for further study. However, the Smithsonian denies any knowledge of them. On the site of the William H. Ray Farm, circa 1871 to 1880, in Connemont Township, just west of the mouth of Black Legs Creek, skeletons of men, probably Indians, were found. Noted local historian Clarence Stevenson says, one of the skeletons is of a giant nearly 16 feet tall. The giant skeleton measured 197 inches from the top of the skull to the phalanges of the feet. It was covered with small stones, lay on the back, and measured 51 inches across the chest. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.